I'm at the Rhino Rehabilitation Enclosure on Shamori Game Reserve where Noel and Winston uh, were joined five weeks ago by a new orphan called Chip. This is him here. Chip's been settling in wonderfully with these two um, and he's feeling really well and he's putting on weight which is fantastic. Yeah, we're here to, to acknowledge a very special week this week in that it's World Rhino Day in a couple of days time. Um, and it's just a time to reflect on the crisis that this species is in. Um, and it's also the week that CITES, which is uh, over 180 countries globally, convene in South Africa to discuss issues relating to the international trade of wildlife. We're just hoping that that conference goes well and that the future of this and many other species uh, is more secure as a result of it. There is some good news in South Africa in that the poaching statistics seem to have uh, leveled out to a degree um, and in some parts of the country there is a decline of about 15 to 20 percent uh, compared to last year. However, there are still many places where the pressure is still on the increase um, and there's real fear now that, that that crime is being displaced to other parts of the country that are not as prepared for the poaching pressure that is, that is to come. These animals are truly amazing. We are very, very privileged to, to have so many of them left. There are an enormous amount of people around the globe that are fighting hard to understand the mechanisms behind poaching, to uh, create the messages to the consumers who in many cases are naively driving uh, this species towards extinction. But also there's a growing acknowledgement that rhino is just one of many species that are under pressure from poaching um, and the illegal wildlife trade that is booming around the world. But um, unfortunately the poaching crisis threatens to overwhelm us and um, there's a, a massive amount of responsibility now on South Africa as a country and there are many many people around the world that are out there trying to get the message across to consumers and then also supporting people on the ground such as the team here at Shamwari uh, the many anti-poaching teams that are out there looking after them at night. I do want to mention in particular the Wilderness Foundation uh, and Medivet who give us an enormous amount of support here and the surrounding communities that uh, are getting behind our efforts to try and secure their future as much as possible. Thank you.